By now you've heard of mob wife aesthetic. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing different ways to incorporate this look and achieve it in different degrees, depending on how much you want to bring this to life. The best thing about these trends and aesthetics, whether it's Tomato Girl Summer or Barbie Core or the grandpa thing, whatever that was, you can always cherry pick and choose different elements to inspire your wardrobe so that instead of feeling overwhelmed when you see this kind of come into your feed and you are able to just look at it from a different lens and say, I really like this about this particular aesthetic. As a matter of fact, I might have these things in my closet that can make it really fun and re-inspire a very basic outfit. I personally have a very feminine and classic personal style and my channel really reflects that. At the end of the video, I'm gonna be comparing this aesthetic to the rich mom trend, which is kind of a cousin of old money aesthetic. And I'm gonna be sharing two different outfits side by side so that you can see how much you can actually draw from both aesthetic using the same base outfit and how you can tweak it depending on your mood or depending on what era you're in. Cause that's the fun thing about fashion is that you're able to express yourself through it. And even if you have a very classic base wardrobe, you can always find ways to infuse energy in it. And I feel like taking little risks like this in fashion starts to build up our confidence. And if we're confident, then we can take over the world. The first element in mob wife aesthetic is a faux fur jacket or a vintage fur. Depending on your budget and your values, you might lean one way or the other. I'm very allergic to many furs, so I haven't found the vintage fur jacket that I'm willing to go on allergy meds for, but never say never. Most of us have a faux fur jacket in our closets because it's very much a winter staple for as long as I can remember. One of my favorite ways to do faux fur is leopard print. And luckily I had an old leopard print faux fur coat from Zara that somehow still looks really amazing. And leopard print is another big component of mob wife aesthetic, kind of having a fun animal print. With leopard print, there's so many different ways to go about it. It's almost a neutral. I think many of us would agree. For example, you can use a faux fur hat or a belt, shoes, accessory. You can really get started on leopard print in that way and add so much texture and dimension to an outfit by adding. Another component of mob wife aesthetic is black. Quiet luxury lovers rejoice. Black is a big anchor in this aesthetic. Bonus points for adding texture. So faux leather, real leather, anything that adds some shine and some glitz, like leather, silk, cashmere, just think luxurious materials. I love that it's kind of a blank canvas to bring a lot of the other things that are part of the aesthetic to life. For example, bold gold jewelry, which is number four. So this is the time to bring out anything like this. Also so confusing, right? Cause we've been hearing silver, silver ever since Beyonce told everybody to go get silver accessories at our concert. It seems like silver has really made a comeback. It's definitely been on trend reports, but gold is kind of a staple. And in this aesthetic gold is absolutely king. So it's really about layering and making that black base pop. If you think about it, the classic aesthetics have, as we've seen them in the last couple of years, whether it's quiet luxury or old money aesthetic or rich mom energy, all of those really use monochrome as bases for beautiful accessories. And this is actually very similar. Number five, moving on to the beauty part of the aesthetic is red lips and big hair. I love a red lip. Red lips are very classic. So just like par for the course. And then of course the big hair just depends on your natural hair texture. My hair tends to be a little bit bigger usually normally, so this is kind of, and messy, so messy, big hair, okay, sign me up. But in order to achieve this look, I have a couple of tips and tricks up my sleeve. I'll go ahead and link a video that I did a couple of years ago on how I get the most volume out of my hair. One of the simplest ways that I do it is by using this beauty by, I don't even have a cap on it, like I use this all the time. It's a dry shampoo, it doesn't turn your hair white, and then, it's very volumizing. It has no alcohol, so it doesn't dry. And what I do is I just usually spray it in through my roots. And so it's great because I don't like to wash my hair a lot in the winter. And then I pull it up in a bun while I'm getting ready, maybe like 20, 30 minutes. And then at the end, I just release it. And I always feel like I have so much more volume and it's clean. So just a little hack. Number six, in terms of handbags and accessories. So that is, I think, the main difference from a lot of this classic aesthetics we've been seeing is that there's less aversion to logos. But to be honest, I really haven't seen those quiet luxury people be super <laughs> averse to showing logos either. I have never seen more Celine logos in my life or Chanel. So if it's Gucci or Prada or Ferragamo now, then so be it. What I can see happening in this trend is also just doing more pops of color, whether that's a red, 
luxury bag or even something that has sequins or embellishment on it is also really fun. And in terms of beauty too, you've got to imagine that, that this avatar for Bon Wife Aesthetic is wearing perfume. It's always part of the feel and the vibe and it sets a tone for your outfit and how you're moving around in the world. Kind of discovering fragrance again and falling in love with something new. There's a couple that I really like. One of them is the Gucci Gardenia that is just so beautiful and floral. The other, of course, is Chanel number no. five. And next we have your underwear or unmentionables. You've got to start this whole look with something beautiful that feels very feminine and lacy and just a little bit risque. One of the laundry brands that I really love that fits all of this. The fit is beautiful, not very big in my chest. Always gives me a nice little lift. Construction is gorgeous. Is Simone Perle. French Laundry Company. Everything is made so beautifully from their, from their pajamas to their underwear. Everything is gorgeous. Starting with something like this underneath is a great base for your mob wife aesthetic outfit. Underlying this trend though is an attitude of bold, fearless, fun, confidence. If you can think of any of these characters from the movies like Michelle Pfeiffer's character in Scarface or Connie Corleone, Sopranos Lady, which I can never remember her name, they all kind of moved around in the world like they could not be touched. Untouchable basically. Ironically they were kind of in the line of fire but they moved through the world with this quiet, forget quiet luxury, quiet confidence of, of like I can wear whatever I want, I can say what I feel. I think that's something that we can all take away from to speaking our mind and wearing whatever we want. I think the, the cool things about these aesthetics and these trends is that you're able to truly have fun with it and pick and choose what you like to find your own personal style. And even once you do, like never be afraid to try something new because unless you're overwhelmed, at the end of the day, it is about having fun and self-expression. And so now that we've got the Mob Wife Aesthetic Style Formula under our belt, let's look at this aesthetic as well as the Rich Bomb Energy Aesthetic to compare them side to side by side. As a reminder, Rich Bomb Energy is very much related to old money aesthetic or quiet luxury where it's about subtle minimalism with just little pops that say, I'm very wealthy or I'm very important or I'm very put together. And the first example, I'm just taking a very simple LBD, that's a sweater knit dress, not expensive. It's actually from Amazon, okay? In the Mob Wife Aesthetic, I'm wearing some high heel hiking booties that are Louis Vuitton inspired. And in the Rich Mom Energy, I'm wearing some cape boots that are very simple. They're flat. They're designed to move with me, just no fuss. I'm wearing some types of both of them. You can't see it in the Mob Wife, but I have like little lines in the back that, that just make it a little bit extra. And then in the Mob Wife Aesthetic, also putting on that, on that leopard print coat, to level it up a little bit, red lips. I did volumize my hair with, with my spray here and then have some gold chains, the pop of red lips, my Prada or Gucci bag. And in the Rich Mom Energy version, I'm wearing a camel teddy coat that's all neutrals. My bag is definitely in London, which is a beautiful classic luxury staple. So in these examples, you can see most of us have a knit LBD in our closet. And we have a lot of these elements in there as well. You might not have the, the leopard print faux fur jacket, but you probably have a faux fur jacket. So just take, drawing from different elements. And this other example is kind of extreme. I'm wearing a sweatsuit that is monochrome camel. So just a very blank canvas. And I did this because I wanted it just to be like, okay, we've got the LBD, but we can also just do this with very simple everyday casual style. And the example with the mob wife aesthetic, I have a big black faux fur jacket. I'm wearing leopard print booties and also big curly hair and a red Gucci bag. In the other example, I have also a longer coat that's just white and very neutral that looks very quiet luxury and just kind of picking and choosing the different pieces from both aesthetics that would build the outfit together and that you probably have in your closet already. Maybe not 100%, but 80% of the items that I have in there, you probably have a version of them. And by the way, just for fun, make sure to take my quiz on which are you, Mob Wife or Rich Mom Energy. I would love to hear if I got it right based on your personality and how you answer the questions. Getting back to the aesthetics, so kind of taking anything that comes at us in the future and being able to say, I don't need to go out and buy a whole new wardrobe. I don't need to also embrace everything about this one aesthetic. I can just take what serves me and what is authentic to me and my personal style and fits my lifestyle. 
And if you're wondering if you do have these pieces in your closet or not for either aesthetic, then make sure to watch my how to declutter your closet video because I bet you there's items in your closet hiding in there that you'll be able to refresh and wear again and make them feel brand new. If you had fun with me today, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I hope to see you really soon.